Hello Dad. This video is for you to show you my garden because you are the inspiration for my garden and I just love the garden because of you. It reminds me of my childhood. So I am going to go ahead and show you and anybody else who wants to watch my garden. There is a ton of weeds in my garden. I'm going to go ahead and back up so you all can see it. There is a ton of weeds but I have a feeling this time of the year most everybody has a ton of weeds in their garden or a mess around their garden just because of how much rain we are getting. But it's a great thing because I don't have to water my garden <clears throat> and my garden's getting what it needs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, I have a bathtub filled with some herbs. Filled with some herbs right now. And the bathtub dad was going to throw away, but I decided to keep it and plant some things in there. This is the first year I planted stuff in it though. So I have some flowers because every garden needs some flowers. And a lot of variety of things really. I have tomatoes and growing up I didn't like tomatoes but I was always fascinated by them. <clears throat> My dad grew tons of them and I just thought they were disgusting. As an adult I enjoy tomatoes. I have made myself enjoy them and now I crave them ironically it's getting dark though so there's not much garden tour here but I thought I'd go ahead and show you around as you can see I've got a lot of tomatoes didn't plan on that but that's just what happens <clears throat> I got cucumbers spaghetti squash now no one warned me about how big spaghetti squash gets but it gets pretty darn big so, for that, anybody who doesn't want to know or doesn't know, spaghetti squash gets big. This is my first time growing it. I have some nasturtium. I've heard that it's a good partner plant for cucumbers. And I've got corn. Growing up in Virginia and other farmland countries, because I've lived in more than just Virginia, corn has always been a fascination to me because of how big it gets. And mine's just starting to get the little flowers on top to pollinate the corn and I have onions which let me go I got this plant that I bought at a store it's really interesting but for whatever reason it's not doing so well even though this one over here its partner is doing amazing I don't quite understand it but here's some onions and another view of my corn and I know corn's not the most ep economical thing to grow because you can buy it pretty cheap, but really it's the hobby and the joy of growing the corn for me. It's just something to help me calm down after work. Um, you just sometimes just need to get out of the garden and hear that little bird on that power line. It sings its little song. And it's those beautiful things in life that just make the garden so special to me. I have a flower that says doing a whole lot better. And then I have my little harvest I just harvested. Got mystery tomatoes and peppers. They weren't supposed to be mystery, but they are now. But I have these little melons. And a lot of people wonder what these are when people stop by because... My garden's right beside the road, so people stop by from time to time and talk about garden stuff with me. And I love talking about my garden. This is a Kajari melon. I saw it on Baker Creek. I really like to grow things that I can't buy in the grocery store. Because you get a little bit more variety in your life. Um, this bush, or this plant, is just loaded with them. So I'm going to have enough to share with my family and friends. I know a lot of people at work, so I talk about a little too much, are probably excited to try these things and you can see my trellis is just going up it's just getting crazy like I said this time of the year is crazy for all the rain and I just have this habit when I see a fertilized melon like I just saw right here just pull the blossom off because I've heard of blossom in rot and I really don't want that on my plants you know I know things happen and for the most part I try to do a natural garden no pesticides or unnatural fertilizers and I have this white stuff on my zucchini right now but I'm pretty sure once it dries up it'll go away um, I have a moon and stars melon which is really pretty to me and there's my little cat Dolly 
Say hello, Dolly. Hi, baby. Doing your little thing. And I've got some carrots and I've got sugar pie pumpkins back there. And a dead tree that needs to be cut down. We all have things we need to work on. <laughs> so, but anyway, that's my garden. The sun is going down. It's getting dark. And the sky is just beautiful. And I thank God for days like these. Really, honestly, live for the little moments in your life. My son's asleep. I should be asleep. But here I am, out here, just taking in the little bit of sunshine we had after a whole day of rain. I hope you all have a wonderful day and enjoy the fireflies because they're about to come out. Have a great day. Bye-bye.